In today's video, let's see the regulation for bilge pumping arrangements. The information in this video is sourced from Solus, Chapter 2 Under Regulation 35 to 1 Bilge Pumping Arrangements. This regulation applies to ships constructed on or after 1 January 2009. Passenger Ships and Cargo Ships An efficient bilge pumping system, capable of pumping from and draining any watertight compartment other than a space permanently appropriated for the carriage of fresh water, water ballast, oil fuel or liquid cargo. Efficient means shall be provided for draining water from insulated holds. Sanitary, ballast and general service pumps may be accepted as independent power bilge pumps if fitted with the necessary connections to the bilge pumping system. Bilge pipes used in or under coal bunkers or fuel storage tanks or in boiler or machinery spaces are to be of steel or other suitable material. This includes spaces in which oil settling tanks or oil fuel pumping units are situated, the Ministry of Energy and Mines has said. An arrangement of the bilge and ballast pumping system shall be such as to prevent the possibility of water passing from the sea and from water ballast spaces into the cargo and machinery spaces, or from one compartment to another. Provision shall be made to prevent any deep tank having bilge or ballast connections being inadvertently flooded when containing cargo. All distribution boxes and manually operated valves in connection with the bilge pumping arrangements shall be in positions which are accessible under ordinary circumstances. Drainage means of drainage may be dispensed within any particular compartment of any ship or class of ship if it is satisfied that by reason of size or internal subdivision the safety of those spaces is not thereby impaired. Provision shall be made for the drainage of enclosed cargo spaces situated on the bulkhead deck of passenger ships and on the freeboard deck of a cargo ship. Where the deck edge is immersed when the ship heals more than 5 degrees, the drainage shall be by means of a sufficient number of scuppers of suitable size discharging directly overboard. The same applies to the bulkhead deck or the freeboard deck, respectively, if the ship is traveling at sea level. Drainage of enclosed cargo spaces on the bulkhead deck shall be led to a suitable space, or spaces of adequate capacity, having a high water level alarm and provided with suitable arrangements for discharge overboard. Where the ship's freeboard is such that the vessel's cargo holds are immersed when the ship heals 5 degrees or less, the vessel's cargo holds shall be drained. In addition it shall be ensured that the number, size and disposition of the scuppers are such as to prevent unreasonable accumulation of free water. The pumping arrangements required by this regulation for passenger ships or cargo ships, as applicable, take account of the requirements for any fixed pressure water spraying fire extinguishing system. Water contaminated with petrol or other dangerous substances is not drained to machinery spaces or other spaces where sources of ignition may be present, and where the enclosed cargo space is protected by a carbon dioxide fire extinguishing system the deck scuppers are fitted with means to prevent the escape of the smothering gas. At least two power pumps connected to the main bilge system shall be provided, one of which may be driven by the propulsion machinery. If the administration is satisfied that the safety of the ship is not impaired, bilge pumping arrangements may be dispensed with in particular compartments. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Please share with your friends and subscribe to Marinora for more such videos. If you have any queries or comments, drop it in comment box.